What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we have the unboxing video and also the review of a very cool unusual Bluetooth speaker that I got from Amazon.com and this one is made by Brookstone. As we know Brookstone is very well known to bring cool gadgets to the market and this is definitely no exception as what we have here is a Bluetooth speaker that connects to the outlet and then the outlet gets converted again into another outlet so it's basically a space maker. On the front side here, we can notice how we have a coffee cup on the background and some notebooks and stuff. I guess that this is meant for relaxation purposes or maybe for low music listener, low volume music listeners. And even though I didn't use it for that purpose, I went at full blast with this thing. And I'm actually quite impressed with the sound. It's not the loudest out there and it's really not intended for that purpose. But based on what I heard, I thought it was going to be worse. And actually the product looks very small here on the uh, pictures and even online, but when I got it, it's a lot bigger than I anticipated. On the side of the box here, we can see exactly what I'm talking about. It converts the outlet being used into another outlet, and the cool part is that you can flip it to the side so that you can have the other outlet available as well. And on the back here, we can see some of the highlights of the product, and it comes with the Bluetooth 3.0, which is a little bit of a disappointment as Bluetooth 4.0 would have been a lot better. But we can also see here guys that it does pair with two of them as I said before and it gives you that stereo sound that most of you guys are looking forward to. So on this picture here we can also notice exactly how the connection looks like. And now let's go ahead and jump directly into the unboxing so that you guys can check out the product. I got the white color model. It comes in black as well. So here is the speaker. And as I said before guys it's not really that small. Let's go ahead and use here my samsung galaxy s8 as a demo i mean i thought this thing was going to be half the size that it is in reality on the front here let me remove this cover and this is a cap for the outlet as you guys can tell on the upper side here we have the speaker on the back we have the information of the speaker it says brookstone design in the usa very cool now this is the tilting connector that we see on the box Basically, after you plug it in, you can move it to the sides. And then on the right side of the speaker, looking at it from the front, here we find all the buttons. We have the power key. We also have the uh, pairing key for the other speaker if you guys decide to get two. We have the light. It does have a light here on the bottom side. It's not really bright, but I guess it's okay for nighttime. And then we have a volume rocker up and down. This is also going to serve as a uh, skipper, so you can go forward and backwards. Uh, or retrieve to the previous song by clicking and holding the minus button. So that's definitely great guys. I do like the idea behind the speaker and I think it's going to be very useful for me. So on the inside here, you have not too many accessories. Actually, we don't have anything else as this speaker is cordless basically. So here we have the quick manual basically explaining how to start it up, how to pair it and how to play. So it's a very easy three-step process and I didn't have any difficulties whatsoever. Then here we have the manuals. I really don't understand why this thing has to be so damn long as the speaker is really easy to use. But maybe there's a purpose to it. Then inside of the box here we have nothing else. So let's go ahead and jump right into the speaker and test it out. Okay, and now to get started, the process is very simple. First of all, you must find a power outlet. In my case, I have a multi-connector. I'm going to plug it in pretending it is a wall outlet and then after this you're going to hold and press the power key for about two or three seconds until you see a flashing blue light. That means that you are in pairing mode and you can go ahead and proceed to your device to find the product and I believe it's called uh, Speak Out. And you tap on it, you connect like any other Bluetooth speaker and that's pretty much all you have to do. If you are uh, using a secondary speaker, you must hold and press this on both speakers so that they can pair with each other and you will get a solid blue light for a few seconds and then it's going to turn off after you have successfully paired with the other speaker for that stereo sound. So let's go ahead and get started here by powering it on. In my case, it's not going to blink because I have already paired with my Samsung Galaxy S8. So as you guys can see, the connection has been established very, very nicely. And let's go here into the Bluetooth settings so that way you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. The speaker is called Speak Out and everything is set to go. So now what we're going to do next is go ahead and play some non-copyrighted songs for testing purposes. And I want you guys to tell me if this thing sounds okay or if it sucks. Here we go.
Okay, so there we have it for the testing of the Brookstone Speakout, and as you guys heard, it's definitely not a disappointment. I would say it's way better than other tiny Bluetooth speakers that I've tested in the past, but it's definitely not the best, guys, when it comes to bass and loudness. This thing is going to lack it a little bit. Now, keep in mind that I don't have the secondary speaker for stereo sound quality, but yes, I would say that this thing for the price is definitely worth it. Keep in mind that you can find it even cheaper at other websites, but in this case, I will be providing the link where I got it from, which is amazon.com. And yes, guys, all in all, I have to give this thing, I will say an eight out of a 10, and that's because of the lack of the loudness. It's not super loud, but it does the job quite well. Also, keep in mind that I'm sure that this thing is designed for low volume listeners or maybe people that want it for relaxation purposes. If you're studying or if you're doing something on your computer and you don't want something very loud, then this is the ideal speaker to have around. So with this being said, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on my next one.